very good morning students and merry christmas today we are going to begin our new chapter brs that is bank reconciliation statement what is bank reconciliation statement see in the word itself it is said it is a statement the statement which is prepared by the trader why we prepare bank reconciliation statement as the trader record his books of account in the cash book that is a two columnar cash book with cash and bank column like that bank record the traders all the information and account in the pass book so one person one business having two documents one kept by the trader another kept by the bank so all the chances are there that something may be recorded at one place something may not be recorded at other place something may be recorded twice or some reasons are there which create the reasons for the difference in the balance as per the cash book and as per the pass book it may possible that there is no cheating there is no manipulation there is no fraud but still if you look in your cash book balance you have some other figure and at that time only you check your pass book balance of a bank account you may have an another figure so you are going to worried about so we need to reconcile we need to understand why such difference are and if the difference are there due to various reasons then it's okay we need to worry so for knowing the actual position and to reconcile our various reasons why it has happened to give satisfaction to ourselves that there are no cheating no manipulation no financial fraud or nothing wrong you prepare one statement that statement is known as a bank reconciliation statement so let us see in the words how you have to express you ha may have a one mark question what you mean by brs so brs is a statement keep in mind it is a statement statement means on a particular day position it express on a particular moment the day situation it talks about showing the causes of difference i say that two balances are different cash book and pass book you need to know why such differences arise so it shows it give you the list of the causes of the difference in the balance of what balance bank as per the cash book which is prepared by the trader and the balance as per the pass book that is what prepared by the bank maintained by the bank so for a particular time or on a particular day we want to satisfy ourselves the reason of difference and if it settles if all the reasons are uh, acceptable then you have nothing to worry about so for that mental peace and satisfaction trader prepare one statement is known as a bank reconciliation statement it is prepared by a trader for your mcq you may have this question this is your one mark question answer in brief what you mean by brs it helps to know the errors are committed by the trader or a bank see sometime the account maintained by the trader cash deposited into bank you have to record it on the debit side of the cash book you have recorded but the check was of uh, the amount you have deposited of 1000 and by mistake you may have added one more zero so it become 10000 so there is a difference of 9000 going to arise because pass book they record 1000 only you have recorded 10000 by mistake so the mistake is made so trader may commit a mistake or sometimes bank also may do some mistake instead of recording transaction in one another account it may be entered in your account they keep on giving debit credit effect so many times one digit number if pressed by the person clerk here and there also sometimes makes the mistakes so it may be error made by 
through the or a bag. It does not rectify the error. Please keep this in mind. BRS only highlights the reason for difference. It is not a tool of rectification. Rectification procedure has to be done as per accounting method later on. Here we just try to reconcile the reasons for the difference in the balance of bank uh, as well as our cash book. Next is that BRS prepared with the help of the two documents. You need two document data to prepare your BRS. You need to have a cash book that is always with you. Trader prepares the cash book and you need to have a copy of the passbook that you have to update your passbook. You have to visit the bank and get it updated. An updated passbook you must have. So these two documents you need to prepare your BRS. So these are the basic meaning and it's a important information related to BRS. Now the next point is the method of BRS. How many ways are there to prepare BRS? There are two methods. Number one, mathematical method, add and less method. This is the method in which they are doing mathematically way, adding and subtracting. But most of the example we are not going to do with this method. As we know, do the double entry accounting system with debit and credit. So we are going to follow the second method that is accounting method or you can say debit and credit column method. So we will follow every BRS preparation and presentation with our accounting method, our approach of debit and credit. Later on we do the example based on this. Next is that you must know the two document. One is the cash book. We all have learned the cash book. My humble request is it's better you revise the cash book before you start with BRS because the concept of debit and credit in cash book must be clear. That will help you to solve your question of BRS. So cash book chapter we have learned very well. So cash book you know, now the passbook. Let us know what is passbook. So passbook is a copy or extract of the trader's account maintained by the bank. What is passbook? Passbook maintained by bank. A document which is kept by bank. Document which shows the all debit as well as credit with the bank done by the trader. So here also it is a copy of the trader. So you have one transaction but it two effects. One in cash book, one in passbook. What is the specimen of passbook? You must have seen the passbook of your uh, means parents, your father, mother must have given so many times to you that go to the bank and get it updated. So passbook you must have seen. If not, please see the specimen of passbook yourself physically also. So it will help you to understand the concept. But the particulars in the passbook like this, the date very important for any accounting matter. So date is there. Particulars means the transaction, very brief hints are written over there. Check number, if you have issued the check, the which check number is issued. You have the amount withdrawn. When you take the money out from the bank account, then that is known as a withdrawn. You may have issued the check, uh, the amount is withdrawn. You may have withdrawn the cash on the counter, over the counter, it is known as a withdrawal. So when you withdraw, bank is going to debit your account. Any reason by which your balance decreases to be recorded on the in the withdrawal column. Amount deposited means when you deposit, bank is going to credit your account. Any increase in the balance is going to be shown in the uh, your deposit section. With that, your balance increase. And then the balance, what you have withdrawn, what you maybe have deposited and every time your balance keep on changing. Sometimes it may increase, sometimes it may decrease. What is the current situation? You can know with the balance column. 
and the signature of the bank officer nowadays the printing machines are there and they are printing the passbook so you may not have personally the signature done by the uh, particular clerk but column is there so this is what the specimen of the passbook now as we know that trader prepare cash book one document we have that is maintained by the trader known as a cash book and the bank maintain pass book this is the another important document which is maintained by the bank now the situation of the balance is pay an attention bank balance for a trader balance of bank is an asset it is our one of the current assets and as we have learned in our trial balance all the assets have debit balance so bank balance balance you have positive amount you have has a debit effect you must remember this very well these are the things with that you can start your drs example correctly so bank balance debit bank overdraft if you have withdrawn more than your balance that is known as a overdraft it means that it become your liability to repay the bank you have created a current liability then it has a credit balance so bank balance debit bank overdraft credit as per cash book as per cash book this is what you have to remember now the same situation going to be opposite because you are cash book and the bank is an opposite party what you does bank does opposite to your action so here for a bank maintain the pass book and in the pass book bank balance of a trader your money <coughs> is an asset for you but the same your money become liability for the bank bank has to pay you back so it is a liability so bank balance of a trader is credit liability for the bank in the same manner bank overdraft of a trader trader has withdrawn more so it become asset for the bank and liability for us for trader it become liability so the same become asset for the a particular bank so bank overdraft for the of a trader in case of a pass book is to be treated as debit balance so in short what you have to remember if you are remembering very well cash book position as you have done cash book so many example as per the cash book bank balance is debit it means totally opposite is the bank pass book situation bank balance as per cash book is debit means bank balance as per pass book is credit totally reverse as every coin has a two side our all transactions have a two side one side what we does exit opposite is the another side that what bank does bank overdraft as per the cash book is a credit so the same bank overdraft as per the pass book going to be the debit so reverse any one situation you remember very well the opposite will be the situation for the pass book so in this manner today we have learned the meaning of the brs it's a special character method of brs what is the meaning of a pass book this also may be for a one mark and if it is for the two mark they have asked then you have to write both one mark for the meaning one mark for the specimen and this is what you need to know to start your example the balances of the bank as per cash book and as per pass book the bank overdraft as per cash book and as per pass book this also may be asked for your mcq for one mark any of the situation balance they may have asked you need to answer in next class we will see the reasons and the understanding of how to record these reasons of difference as per cash book and pass book thank you